Today we'll be opening a booster box of the Korean version of VMAX Rising. Let's get going. All right, so as mentioned, I'll be opening one booster box of VMAX Rising Korean version. I have previously opened up this set in Japanese. This is my first time revisiting it in Korean. And of course, guys, this is a small card list of 86 cards. Came out on March 26, 2020. And for those who don't know, this is half of Rebel Clash in English. The other set that makes up Rebel Clash is called Rebellion Crash. Of course, today we'll be focusing on VMAX Rising. This set has all the Galar, Galar starter evolutions, such as Cinder Ace, Rillaboom, and Inteleon. There are also a lot of beautiful full art trainers, such as Sonia, and Milo, and including the gold card Frostmoth, which I'm specifically looking for today. So before we get started, please make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe for more multi-language Pokemon openings. Let's get going. Alrighty, so of course, this booster box has 30 booster packs with five cards per pack. I'm gonna show you guys some of the specs. We'll also remove the plastic since it's a little glary. So the one interesting thing about Korean booster boxes, sometimes they come wrapped up in plastic, sometimes they just come taped. Either way, they're all legitimate. I don't know why they do it that way. I wonder if, it's a dis uh, if it distinguishes between first edition and not first edition. But there we go. We have our lovely 30 booster packs. So hopefully we get some lovely Galera evolutions today. It's been a while since I opened this set. Very, very nice pack art as well. Like how metallic it looks. So let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully we get the gold card. Of course, too, with uh, Korean booster boxes, sometimes the secret doesn't pop up, which happens. But if we do land something today, I'll be very, very happy. We have not to. Ooh, Toxtricity. I also like how these cards feel. <gasps> Already starting off with a V card, we got Bolton, also Pulse Swan. I think it's a little bit different in Korean, but it sounds like the Japanese name. So hit the like button for Bolton. That's also a full art in this set. So if you love that Pokemon, this is also the set for you. For those looking for the, for those looking for toxicity, that one's in Rebellion Crash. So that's the other half of Rebel Clash. Oh, we have Magic Carp here with the Mr. Conahe artwork. The Pikachu so distinct, it's so adorable. We have Volpix, we have Applin, we have Milo, also a full art trainer in the set. Ooh and ooh ooh, Cramorant, and in Korean it's called Ukuji. <laughs> I don't know, I just love that Pokemon. I All the names. That, I love that name. It's so adorable, it's honestly. So cute. And even its shiny form is so cute, in my opinion, from Shiny Star Glee. All right, and also no card trick for those who've already noticed. We have Caterpie. And there's no uh, promotional cards. Yeah, no promotional cards. So it's not the first edition. And so, well, it's wrapped in plastic. So maybe that distinguishes it from the first edition. All right, we have Galarian Corsola Holographic. I don't know why they do things different each time. I, I don't know why either, honestly. Um, I think also for Astonishing Volt Tackle, the promo version actually, or the first edition uh, version, has promo on the top uh, version of the box. You can actually see the booster pack containing the promo, so it's really interesting. It doesn't have the typical artwork of the pack art on top of the box. And it stands upright, unlike the uh, Japanese version. The boxes are very different, as you can already see. We have Indeedee, Galarian Mr. Mime. We have Toxel. Oh, Toxel's in the set. Well, of course, Toxtricity, just not the V card. And we got Dur Duraludon Holographic. So, of course, you're going to see some repeats. A lot of these hollows actually were also in Shiny Star V, as well as Bolton, of course, and some of the V cards. But the nice thing is the secret rares are exclusive to this set. So if you're looking for anything specific from that realm, got to open VMAX Rising or VMAX Rising. We got Skyla and we got Aegislash, also from Shiny Star V. So this is where it originally comes from. Shiny Star V is a big compilation of a lot of different Galar sets. Right, but I do miss opening this. I just haven't opened it in Korean yet. Might as well revisit it before we move on to better sets. Let's keep going. Bomb of Snow. Oh, and Antalyon. Okay, honestly, guys, this is my favorite Galar starter. I did start out with Sobble in Sword. Do you love water types? And it's also Reptile. <clears throat> Big fan of reptiles in real life. Intelligent Chameleon. <laughs> All right. I think I pulled Rillaboom also in <coughs> hyper rare form in Japanese. Right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm choking on <laughs> choking on wasabi peanuts. I had a little bit before starting the filming yeah, process. Yeah, wasabi peanuts are kind of dry. I'm a big fan of wasabi flavor things now. I like now. wasabi too. Thanks to cameraman. <laughs> Yo, wasabi peanuts help you get in the mood of filming. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it, cl it cleanses your nasals. <laughs> My goodness, glaring far fetched. We have Helio. Helio. Oh, what's that I in the back? Something. I see something too. We got. Oh, we got Cinder Ace V Max. Very nice with the Korean texture. It's a bit thicker compared to the Japanese version. Hit mm. that like button. To Told you guys all lots of starters in this set so very lovely and it matches the pack art very similar style because it is emphasizing the fact that there are gigantamax pokemon in the sword and shield realm 
So after the Sword and Shield era, we're probably not going to ever see Giant Gentamax Pokemon again. So appreciate them now while you can. We got Vulpix here, Applin, a little dragon apple. Oh, Glaring Corsola looks so sad. Diggersby and Gyarados Holographic. That's a nice very, holographic. It's a very nice holographic. It's also 3D, which is super mm. cool. Didn't see that in Shiny Star V, so that's exclusive to this set. After opening that set so many times, you really just recall what you see over and over again. Like Phalanx, that was also in Shiny Star V. Glaring Carsula, so sad. Bronzor, we have the Capacious Bucket, and Shuckle. Oh, this is so cute. Haven't seen that one in a long time. All right, I'm already flying through these packs. So far, so good pulls, you know? Hopefully we'll pull the Secret Rare though, or a Gold card. Sometimes the Gold cards come up, they're quite rare in Korean, but they do appear here and there. As you may or may not have seen on my channel already. Charge a book, I love this one. Charging Electric Bug, Barraskuda, and Grim Snarl Holographic. So no hollow borders on Korean cards, as you guys know with Japanese cards, but that's why I like opening different cards in different languages so you can compare and contrast the different languages. You got Bunnelby, I think that's Yukamori, the claymation artist, Glare Mr. Mime, Caterpie, Sonia, please come out in full art form, and Bronzong. These names, Bronzer sounds like Dronzer, <laughs> the Beyblade. My favorite. Yeah, I love Beyblade, guys. I'm actually starting to open up Beyblade, too, because it's fun. Got to keep things interesting. Helioptile, Stunky, that name. <laughs> Halucha, <clears throat> Barbarica. Oh, we got a full art rainbow. Cinderace, and we got our secret rare, so smash that like button for me, guys. So I have Cinderace. I got Rillaboom Hyper Rare in Japanese, so now I just got to get Inteleon. But hey, that's super cool. VMAX, Rainbow, and the regular VMAX. Super cool. All right, so that's our that's not really guaranteed, but that's our lucky hit. Uh, the secret rare. Those rainbow cards do not come up often in Korea. They do not come often, honestly. And they they have really nice texture to them too. They're not as shiny as the Japanese cards, but they're super beautiful in my opinion. The Cinderace in particular looks very nice. I'd say as a whole, the rainbow cards in um the in Korean or even in Sword and Shield era have stepped it up from the Sun and Moon era. The rainbow just looks more intense and the textures are more engaging and more interesting. We have Metapod, we have Dracloak, I love Dragapult, you guys know already, Barbarical, or Binnacle, sorry, Binnacle, Toxtricity, and Galarian Cursola. Well, it's so distinguished with the yellow borders. But yes, the card quality definitely improved in my opinion compared to the Sun and Moon era. They don't come as bent, they're actually pretty straight today, <laughs> which is very nice. We have Metapod, and yes, for those who have opened Korean packs from my web store, crystalcollects.com, I'm sure you can already feel the difference compared to the English version of Rebel Clash, <laughs> or really in general. All right, so we're more than halfway done. I want to see what other pulls we get from this box so far. So good. I'm guessing maybe one more V Max and maybe a couple more V cards, but we'll see. Aracuda, Nine Tails, Ooh, and Galarian Surfesh, also from Shiny Star V. I'm sure we've all seen that card a billion times by now. But I do love this pack art. If you're a fan of the Galar starters, this is definitely a fun set to open because you never know what you get. Got lucky today with that VMAX Rising uh, Cinder Ace VMAX Hyper Rare Milo and Aegislash. Alrighty. Hope you guys are excited for Rengeki Ichigeki. We'll definitely be opening that shortly, just waiting for my boxes from Japan. And we'll definitely do a Is It Worth It series to that too. Dreepy, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell button so you know when those videos come out. We got double, not the champion's path double. So yeah, this is also very different from the artwork in Shiny Star V. So smash that like button for the non-champion's path double. <laughs> that set still haunts me in my dreams. Too many hollow cards. <laughs> I, know, I know Cameraman loves that set. What? Champion's Path. I hate it. <laughs> okay, we have um, Little Grubbin. Ooh, and Ukuji. I love Ukuji. 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 Oh my gosh. And Uu in Japanese. But really, Cramorant in English. I love saying the different names. Follow me on Instagram too. You'll learn more names in other languages. Crystal Collects as well. Heliolisk. We have Skin Tank. Ooh, and Appleton, the Apple Pie Dragon. That's such a cute concept for Pokemon. They're finally being a little bit more creative. All right. Definitely, uh, definitely Sword and Shield era got me really back into Pokemon, especially with also the trading card game. Um, after seeing how beautiful the VMAX cards are, oh, and I think we're about to hit one too, speaking of which. Milo and, oh, Rillaboom VMAX. I know we've seen this so many times from Shiny Star V, but this is Korean and also from VMAX Rising, not the same set number as Shiny Star V. 
All right, gonna sleeve that one up. So that's the second VMAX. Kind of hope there was a tele on, but it's okay. I like Rillaboom too. Super cool. It's definitely gotten a lot of fame in shiny form, both the gold card and Darkness Ablaze, and also in Shiny Star V, both V and VMAX. So lots of love for Rillaboom. Arrokuda, Double Colorless Energy, and Arcanine. Very nice artwork there. You're doing all right with this box. Right? Pretty good, pretty good. I'm very happy today, especially we got that secret rare. All right, I think just six more packs, uh, including this one here. We have Growlithe, Phalanx. I really thought that was a little like centipede Pokemon in the beginning. Then I'm like, oh, these they're these little ar army guys. And then we have Dragapult, also from Shiny Starfy. <laughs> Lots of repeats, but it's okay. It's still different cards because they technically have different numbering at the bottom. All right, Bronzor sounds like Dron Dronzor, <laughs> Heliolisk, Impidimp, Bronzor, Diggersby. Bronzor. Yeah, one big similarity with Beyblade there. <laughs> Crossing franchises. All right, next up. Four more packs left. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got, I think I saw something in the back. Saw some Black Border, Charger Bug, and DD. Shuffle, really cute. And oh, another Inteleon repeat. Why didn't I get you in VMAX? That's okay though. The colors are very bold in Korean, in my opinion. I don't know if you can see the difference or if you had an English card in front of you and could compare the difference, but they definitely appear a lot more bold to me. Especially, I noticed that when I opened Infinity Zone or Muhanjon in Korean. Okay, we have Bunnelby. We have Growlithe. I swear these cards feel so nice to the hand compared to other sets. I think I've been just opening a lot of Sun and Moon cards, that's why. Uh, revisiting some Sword and Shield era cards now. Two more packs. Let's see if we get anything else, but so far, very happy with these pulls. Banacle, Dracloki, we have Bunnelby with Yukimori artwork, uh, Barascuda, and Grim Snarl. Also same holo from Shiny Starfy. Last pack! Let us see if we get anything. You are not guaranteed a holo or a V card, but if you do land it, it's a good pack. It's just one of those regular sets. Binnacle, Dracloak again. Oh, same cards from the last pack almost. Barascuda. Oh, and Duraludon. Okay, we got a holographic, so pretty nice. All right, be back with you all. All right, so on to our final review today. Very, very happy that we did land our secret rare today. The thing with Korean boxes, sometimes you land an error box where there's no secret rare. It's not that it's a bad thing, it's just it happens sometimes. So when you do land the secret rare, it's a really good thing. So we're gonna go ahead. I have some hollows here, of course. There's only 30 packs, so I'm gonna include everything. We got Dragapult, got Appleton, the Glaring Surfage, a lot of repeats, and um, what's it called? Memorable cards from Shiny Star V, if you guys recall on my previous openings. Gyarados, Duraludon, Galang Corsola. Lots of V cards today, very happy about. Um, we have Double V, not Champions Path Double. <laughs> we got Bolton, Inteleon. We got a couple of these, interestingly enough. And of course, our two V Maxes. We got Rillaboom V Max in Korean, Hangul, very cool. Cinderace V Max. And last but not least, we got the rainbow version of Cinderace V Max. So very, very happy about that. That The texturing in the back looks super cool. It looks like it's actually kicking the little circle there because it's like a soccer player. So the whole concept of Cinderace. So just wanted to bring up one more thing too. So I know the booster box of VMAX Rising today had a plastic seal on it. I just wanted to show you an example of another box I'm about to open shortly. So this one doesn't is not covered in plastic. It actually is closed by tape. So it is still sealed. It's just sometimes Korean booster boxes come this way. So I just wanted to show you an example. And like I mentioned before, it's all legitimate. So do not worry if you buy a booster box and it comes like this without the plastic covering the entire thing. So I just wanted to clear that up for you all. So I hope you enjoyed today's opening. Please make sure to smash a like button if you enjoyed all the pulls and also subscribe if you'd like to see more multi-language Pokemon openings. Stay tuned and stay safe, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.